And for classroom example six, here I have a system of equations. Now this is truly the worst case scenario for a substitution because I don't have an equation with x equals. I don't have a, an equation in my system with y equals. And furthermore, I don't have either equation with an x or y where the coefficient is 1. So this means no matter how I solve this problem, I'm going to wind up working with fractions. So you know what? You do what you need to do. You pick you pick one of the uh, you pick one of the equations and rewrite it for x or y. So you have a few options. I'm going to take the second equation, negative 4x plus 6y equals 5, and I'm going to rewrite that to get y by itself. So the first thing I'm going to do is add 4x to both sides, so I get 6y equals 4x plus 5 and then I divide by 6. y equals 2 3rd x plus 5 6. So everywhere I see a y in the other equation, I'm going to plug in 2 thirds x plus 5 6. I'm not thrilled with the fact that it has fractions, but hey, you know, it is what it is. You do what you need to do. So we're going to go to this equation, 2x minus 3, y equals 6. And everywhere I see a y, I'm going to do to replace it, substitute it with 2 thirds x plus 5 sixths. And that equals 6. So now I'm going to distribute the negative 3, bring down the 2x. I'll do this on the side so you see it. Negative 3 times 2 thirds. 3 goes into 3 once. That's going to be negative 1 times 2. That's going to be negative 2x. I'll also do this one on the side. Negative 3 times 5, 6. 3 goes into 3 once. 3 goes into 6 twice. So. 5, 6, I'm sorry, 5, 6, 5, 6. So that's going to become uh, 5 over 2, right, minus 5 over 2 equals 6. Well, positive 2x and negative 2x are going to cancel each other. And what I'm left with is negative 5 halves equals 6. When will negative 5 halves equal 6? Never. That's a contradiction. That's a contradiction. They will never equal. So in a system, if you ever get a contradiction, you would say there is no solution to this system. There is no value for x and y that will ever make both equations true at the same time. Contradiction, no solution. Something always true, infinite number of solutions. And then most typically you're going to wind up with just a single point of intersection. So why don't you go ahead and try practice six. And really what we've done here in section 4.2 is we've learned the substitution method.